I work with bacteria. Bacteria are ubiquitous and unicellular organisms, so they need to be protected by the harsh environmental conditions. And for this purpose, they have a cell wall called peptidoglycan. I work on how peptidoglycan grows and divides during bacterial growth. When I started research, I thought that I am going to look at bacterial cell wall growth because there was a lacuna in the field. Because bacterial cell walls are an important target for new antimicrobials, we decided to study how bacterial cell walls grow and divide. And in this process, we have discovered that an additional step of peptidoglycan hydrolysis is important for their growth and that makes it a very good target for development of new antimicrobials. I think there is no magical solution to the bacterial infections because bacteria will eventually win because during evolution they were the most successful organisms because of their rapid growth rates and high mutation rates. So in this process, I think it will always be the microorganisms which will win. I got interested in my microbial genetics because I have been trained in genetics and that attracted me because of its potential to understand the unknown phenomenon in biology. And particularly one scientist who inspired me was Professor John Beckwith from Harvard University who discovered the paradigm of lac operon. It is very much true that there are very few women at the top positions in various research institutes and universities. But because of various reasons, women take the back seat and then the men who are seen eventually in the top positions. But in my opinion, when it comes to opportunities, there is absolutely no discrimination for women and men in science. I do want to take multiple directions. One is to find small molecules inhibitors for the cell wall hydrolysis. In addition, I want to go much deeper into fundamental research and would like to understand how the cell walls of various different bacteria grow and also study how in Escherichia coli, how the cell wall growth is initiated and regulated. My first thoughts were, well, what a great recognition to my science. And the thoughts again went to my institute, my mentors, and to my students and my family. Research is not like any other job. It requires a lot of passion and dedication. So one has to choose carefully before entering into this field. However, I want to tell to every student that they have to choose their career path very carefully. Whatever they choose, it should interest them and then they should follow their career path with passion, dedication and determination to be able to be successful. <laughs>